A white dwarf, also called a degenerate dwarf, is a stellar core remnant composed mostly of electron degenerate matter. A white dwarf is very dense, its mass is comparable to that of the Sun, while its volume is comparable to that of Earth. Today, we will discuss with you on the topic how a white dwarf is formed. Welcome back. This is Ignatius Life. A white dwarf is what stars like the Sun become after they have exhausted their nuclear fuel. Near the end of its nuclear burning stage, this type of star expels most of its outer material, creating a planetary nebula. Only the hot core of the star remains. This core becomes a very hot white dwarf with a temperature exceeding 100,000 Kelvin, unless it is accreting matter from a nearby star. The white dwarf cools down over the next billion years or so. Many nearby young white dwarfs have been detected as sources of soft or lower energy X-rays. Recently, soft X-ray and extreme ultraviolet observations have become a powerful tool in the study the composition and structure of the thin atmosphere of these stars. A typical white dwarf is half as massive as the Sun, yet only slightly bigger than Earth. An Earth-sized white dwarf has a density of 1 into 10 raised to 9 kg per meter cube. Earth itself has an average density of only 5.4 into 10 raised to 3 kg per meter cube. That means a white dwarf is 200,000 times as dense. This makes white dwarfs one of the densest collections of matter, surpassed only by neutron stars. Because a white dwarf is not able to create internal pressure, gravity compacts the matter inward until even the electrons that compose a white dwarf's atoms are smashed together. In normal circumstances, identical electrons are not allowed to occupy the same energy level since there are only two ways an electron can spin. Only two electrons can occupy a single energy level. That is what's known in physics as the Pauli exclusion principle. In a normal gas, this isn't a problem because there aren't enough electrons floating around to fill up all the energy levels completely. But in a white dwarf, the density is much higher and all of the electrons are much closer together. This is referred to as a degenerate gas meaning that all the energy levels in its atoms are filled up with the electrons. For gravity to compress the white dwarf further, it must force electrons where they cannot go. Once a star has degenerate, gravity cannot compress it anymore, because quantum mechanics dictates that there is no more available space to be taken up. So, our white dwarf survives not by internal fusion, but by quantum mechanical principles that prevent its complete collapse. Degenerate matter has other unusual properties. For example, the more massive a white dwarf is, the smaller it is. This is because the more mass a white dwarf has, the more its electrons must squeeze together to maintain enough outward pressure to support the extra mass. However, there is a limit on the amount of mass a white dwarf can have. Scientists discovered this limit to be 1.4 times the mass of the Sun. With a surface gravity of 100,000 times that of Earth, the atmosphere of a white dwarf is very strange. The heavier atoms in its atmosphere sink, and the lighter ones remain at the surface. Some white dwarfs have almost pure hydrogen or helium atmospheres, the lightest of elements. Also, gravity pulls the atmosphere close around it in a very thin layer. If this occurred on Earth, the top of the atmosphere would be below the tops of skyscrapers, Scientists hypothesize that there is a crust 50 km thick below the atmosphere of many white dwarfs. At the bottom of this crust is a crystalline lattice of carbon and oxygen atoms. Since a diamond is just crystallized carbon, one might make the comparison between a cool carbon or oxygen white dwarf and a diamond. 